Working at the shelter, it's amazing to see how animals change people's lives. It's not just adoptions, which are really awesome to watch because you see families come together, but also when we return a lost pet to its owner or when we provide someone with ideas or resources they maybe didn't have before in order to help them keep their pet in their home. It's just really great to see how the human-animal bond can be supported and transformed through our work. Petting an animal greatly reduces heart rate and blood pressure, so if we can provide animals and humans the ability to connect, which we do on a daily basis, we're improving people's state of mind and their general health. So if a family comes in to adopt an animal from Kitsap Humane Society, we did that over 5,500 times last year. I think KHS has a huge impact on our community. We do the outreach, and it's not even so much that an animal gets adopted at outreach. There's a lot of education that goes on there, too. For instance, Behavior Department, they do a lot of follow-ups with helping people that have adopted animals from us. Here at KHS over the past year, we've done a lot to try to improve the number of lives that we're able to save and also the quality of care that we're able to provide. We do spay-neuter surgeries for our low-income public, and that's a huge way in order to be able to not only provide care for those individual families who may not be able to afford it elsewhere, but we also can positively impact the number of animals coming into the shelter through proactive spay-neuter. There's not one size fits all plan for the animals that come into the shelter. We really try to provide individualized care and identify what each animal needs in order to find the right home. Whether it's specific medical care or behavioral needs or they need time out of the shelter in foster care, because we have a great group of people, a great group of volunteers and foster families, we're able to provide support for these animals on an individual level. So if one dog needs to be in relaxation room, that dog will go there every day. If one dog needs to have time to chew on a bully stick just to calm down, that dog gets that care. And the reason that they can stay here for the length they need to till they find their new families is because of us. We had a cat this past year come in that was hit by a car and had multiple pelvic fractures and a leg that was very badly injured in need of immediate um, surgery. And we were able to provide the amputation that that kitty needed and the care that he needed to survive. Seeing that owner come in and being able to give Boy a hug and cry and hold him again was so meaningful. I'm a disabled veteran. I was also diagnosed with complex PTSD. My friends said that they were going to help me out and uh, find a dog to help me with my situation and um, they found Jack and Jack came from Kauai, Hawaii and Margie and Donna picked him up at the airport and called me about midnight and said hey we got the perfect dog and uh, I was here the next morning and we went home with the boy and uh, you know right away I knew because he he looked at me like a baby and I just knew that, that he was the one. Before it was really hard to laugh and have fun and enjoy and he helps me laugh and helps me get out of the bed and I'd have to take him for walks so it, it gets me out of the house so it's a good thing. What happens is if I'm in an environment where I start to feel anxious or nervous or anything of that nature, Jack will uh, respond to me, he'll, he'll push against me, he'll stand in front of me if there's a crowd or something and a lot of times he'll smack me with his paw. He'll get me out of what's going on in my head. He, he can feel my nervous energy and, and stuff of, of that nature. I came across Dallas and he has helped me with a lot. I have anxiety and when it first started, I was having major panic attacks, but I feel like just he knows when I'm just not feeling like comfortable or I'm just out of myself. And so he would come up to me and just cuddle with me and I would pet him and my anxiety would slowly go away. For many of our partners, KHS is already a destination shelter, but right now what we can do is limited. And so we really need more support in order to grow our life-saving programs and improve our facilities so that we can continue to be a great asset for both our community and the animal welfare community in a broader sense. We really want to be able to grow and expand over the next few years because we've really seen that there's a, a great need in our community, not only directly in our individual region, but nationwide. I just think it's like really important to know that you have a friend by your side and animals are usually the way to go. I don't think I've ever in my life felt more at home anywhere than here. I mean, KHS has changed my life. I've never been so happy. Knowing that I can give these animals what they give me 
it was pretty amazing. We take humans and we take animals and we help them connect and through that relationship they find meaning and therapy and I think that that's really an amazing way that we have helped touch and reach the community.